Okay, let's get started. I am so excited to be talking about this topic today because it's it's one of those things where like if you really work it, if you are really dedicated and you are truly invested in healing, you can totally level up after a toxic relationship. You can regain your confidence and you can also get so much more confidence than you had before. This is something that that I have experienced. It's not easy to do. It definitely takes dedication. It does take investing in yourself and, and different healing modalities and working with different people, but it, it absolutely can be done. It is a lot harder than just watching a training like this. It What it will take are little steps every day. And I'm gonna talk about what these little steps are gonna be in this video, but it absolutely can be done. You can totally level up after a toxic relationship. So one of the first things that I wanna remind you here to help you get your confidence back after a toxic relationship and something that I want you guys to tell yourselves very frequently is that the experience that you had with your ex, whether they were really abusive to you or you felt like they just didn't appreciate you, they couldn't fully show up, this is not the only experience that you can have in relationships. Now I know, I get it. This is much, this is like, I can just say this, right? But I know some of you are like, well, I, I don't believe you because that's that has only been my experience. I've only had these relationships where I haven't been appreciated. I haven't been treated well. So in a lot of my other trainings, I talk about why we end up in these toxic relationship patterns, why we keep recreating these unfulfilling relationships over and over again. I'm not gonna go deep into that today because we're talking about confidence, but I want you to know that if you have had many relationships that were toxic, that were unhealthy, that were unfulfilling, this is not the only relationship experience out there. And again, I know, I know that this can sometimes seem like impossible. It, it can sometimes feel impossible to imagine that there is a different relationship experience out there. But there is, I can promise you that. The situation that you experience with your ex is not the only type of relationship you can have. Or exes, if there's more than one. This was the case for me too. I really did not know if it was possible for me to have a different type of relationship. I kind of just thought like, well, this is maybe as good as it's going to get. It did take me talking to someone else who had gone on that journey, who had had all these bad relationships, and who then moved into a healthy relationship to show me, no, Lindsay, it actually doesn't have to be like that. Here's the way to get there. So this, again, is something that I want you guys to remind yourselves. This is not the only relationship experience that I can have. There is something different out there. So that's the first thing. And again, this is kind of like a trauma response too. And I don't want to touch on that before I go into the second thing here. It is a trauma response to go into very black and white thinking, to not be able to see outside of our history, to not be able to see outside of our, our experience of relationships. But again, it's not the only experience. Just because we can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist and doesn't mean that it's not real. So the second step that I recommend doing to get your confidence back after a toxic relationship is to pay very close attention and actually write down your positive attributes. There's a very specific reason I recommend this because when we've come out of a toxic relationship, usually we are thinking and believing a lot of negative things about ourselves. We're probably feeling like we're not good enough. We're probably feeling like we lack this, this, and this because maybe that's what our ex told us or maybe that's what we came away thinking we usually feel very down on ourselves. And the stories, the thoughts that are going on in our mind are also very negative. So in order to balance that, in order to counteract that, it can be so helpful to remind yourself of the things that you like about yourself, the things that you take pride in, the things that you are good at. So this can be something like you sit there with a piece of paper and you literally like think of all the things, all the positive things that anyone has ever said about you, all of the positive traits that you have, all the things that you're proud of about yourself and you write them down. You write up, this is what I did. I wrote them on a sticky note. I wrote them in my journal and I stuck it. 
on my wall. I stuck it on my mirror so that every day when I was feeling all of those negative emotions that happen after a toxic relationship and I was thinking all those negative thoughts about myself, I would have that reminder that like, oh yeah, everything is not bad about myself. Here's what this person said about me. Here's what I feel about myself. Here's something that I know I'm good at. And I looked at that and it gave me balance. So I wasn't completely inundated by all of the negative thoughts that were going through my head. Again, this is not gonna be like, like the, the, the cure-all. This is not gonna be the, the only thing that helps, but it can be a really big step in the right direction to remind yourself of all of the positive things that you have to offer someone and the world. Another really important step you can take after a toxic relationship to get your confidence back is to start living your dreams. I talked about this a little bit in how to recover from a breakup, how to get over an ex and start to let them go, and it also is so important for confidence. This is really how you level up your life. Because here's, here's the option we have after a toxic relationship, or really after any breakup. We can let it keep us down and keep us stuck and just kind of give up, or we can use it to fuel an amazing life. So what does this mean, start living your dreams? What's something that you've always wanted to do? Maybe you've always wanted to go back to school and start this new career and you just didn't feel like it was the right time or things were just too chaotic with your toxic relationship that you literally couldn't do it, but now you have the chance to. Maybe you wanted to start your own business. Maybe you want to travel. Whatever your dream is, it can be as big or as small as, as you can dream of here, but you can start taking steps today to make that dream happen. If your dream is to go back to school and start a new career, start researching what that looks like today. Maybe you start applying for scholarships. Maybe you start talking to people who are in that career to see if that's what you actually wanna do. Maybe you go shadow them, see what that feels like. If your dream is to travel, start researching. Where do you wanna go? What does that actually look like? What kind of paperwork do you need to get there? How are you gonna fund this trip? Taking these little steps each day is gonna build your confidence and give you hope for the future. Because what I can tell you from my own experience in recovering from a toxic relationship is making these little steps each day did, did so many things for my inner healing. One, it gave me permission to dream. It gave me hope that things were going to get better after a toxic relationship. And then when I started to take the steps every day, to take the little steps to follow through on what I wanted to do, that gave me such a boost of confidence. I proved to myself that I can follow through on something. And when I follow through on something, look, I'm actually building this thing. Little by little, I'm creating what I want in my life. And that is an incredibly empowering feeling. It gives you a tremendous amount of confidence that you can have what you want in life. You do not have to settle for crappy situations or crappy relationships. You can create your dreams. Again, I, with all of this advice here, is it easy? No, it's not. None, none of this stuff is easy. It does take work, but what you will find in living your dreams and taking these steps is that little by little you start to feel better again you start to have hope you can see oh yeah yes maybe i was in this really bad relationship but you know what that wasn't the end of the story here i am getting better i am leveling up my life i'm going to have this amazing life created from the ashes of this pain and this heartache it's absolutely possible. So keep taking these little steps each day towards something that you truly want to do. And maybe, you know, like maybe it's something that's not even that big. Maybe it's something like, hey, I've always wanted to learn how to speak Italian. Start doing that every day, just a little bit, and you will be amazed at how much better you start to feel and how much more in charge of your life you start to feel. Because as you know, if you've been in a toxic or abusive relationship, you can feel really powerless. And so this, to doing these little steps each day goes a long way in regaining your sense of power and control back. 
So that's the third thing I recommend. The fourth thing, and this is like the, the real deal healing step, is to rewire some of the subconscious beliefs that you might have going on. Subconscious beliefs like, I'm not good enough, no one will love me, people always leave me. These are essentially confidence killers. These tapes that are running in the background of your mind are basically the source of low confidence. And you can come into a toxic relationship and have the best self-esteem and the best self-confidence in the world, but being with this person can take it down to an all-time low. So rewiring these subconscious beliefs is actually how you get much, much better self-confidence. This is something that I do in my Living Free Finding Love program. It's a 12-week program. It's one of the powerful subconscious healing modalities that I use to help women to break out of those negative loops in their mind. So if you're interested in that program, reach out to me, send me a message, send me an email, we can talk about the details. But doing this, this is what, I, I have to say, I, I, I credit two things here with being able to really level up in all areas of my life, including my confidence. This subconscious work, rewiring the negative beliefs that I had, and you guys, I had a ton, I had so many. It did take me a while to work through all of the beliefs that I had. I had to do meditations every day for a long time, but it worked. It was the best work that I could have done. The other thing I credit is releasing all of the the subconscious emotional energies that that I was carrying around from not only my toxic relationship, but also from my childhood. The combination of those two things was incredible for me getting my confidence back and improving it from even before I went into that toxic relationship. I wouldn't have been able to come on here and do a live video for you guys prior to doing all this work. No way, I would have just been a mess. I would have showed up terrible on screen. So, and I actually do have, like I have videos that I did from way, way back in the day. Like, oh my God, I I can't even watch them. Because I wasn't feeling very good about myself. I wasn't feeling very confident. And all of this work that I have done to get me to this point has been so worth it and so powerful. This subconscious work was truly a game changer for me. So again, if you're interested in that, reach out to me. Rewiring those stories will level up your confidence like, like nothing else. Okay, so that was step number four. Step number five to regain your confidence after a toxic relationship and level up is something that I find really fun. I recommend giving your style an update. What do I mean by this? Your clothes, your hair, your makeup, giving those things an update can make you feel a lot better. So I know here we we really talk about how healing is an inside job and it 100% is, but Doing a revamp of your style, of the way you present yourself, really makes a difference in the the overall self-confidence that you can have. Because again, yes, it is an inside job, and having your ins- having your outside match your inside, it feels really good. So you can give yourself a makeover. Maybe maybe like you've always wanted to cut your hair really short or go for like a pixie and you just never did it, or maybe your ex made fun of you for wanting to do it, maybe your ex said, oh, I like your hair long, whatever it is, whatever the thing is that you've always wanted to do, do it. There's nothing stopping you now. Give your style a revamp. Maybe you just get rid of some clothes that you don't wear anymore, get yourself some new stuff. You know, even if it's just like going to Walmart and getting yourself a couple new things, it doesn't have to be this this big fancy shopping spree. Just a couple new things that will really make you feel good about yourself because after a toxic relationship you're not the same person you were anymore you are now this new version of yourself you're probably a bit wiser you're probably actually a bit stronger because of everything you've gone through and so what that feels really good to do is to incorporate this new you into a new look doesn't have to be drastic maybe you want to try some new makeup this was a big thing for me like i was really never into makeup before my my toxic relationships a little bit here and there but not really and 
what was really helpful for me was to start to experiment with that. It was really fun. I, I do have this artistic side of me and it allowed me to tap into that aspect of myself and it was it was so healing because not only was I getting to creatively express myself with trying on the different colors and looks, but I also felt better. I, I liked how I looked and so it was really like this this way that I started to get my confidence back after a relationship that really just destroyed me. I mean, I've, I've talked about this in many of my trainings, but my relationships were really devastating. And so these were the things that I started to do that helped me to get my confidence back. And it's what helps the women that I work with too. Just making these little changes, like doing something really nice for yourself, investing in yourself to help you feel better is what helps you get your confidence back. And this can include physical things too. So that is step number five. The last step that I have to offer here to get your confidence back and level up after a toxic relationship is to start dating. Now I know, this may, this may seem like a strange suggestion, but you might not be ready to get into a relationship at this point. But if you've come out of a relationship where you're feeling like, oh, nobody, nobody is gonna be attracted to me, nobody likes me, I'll never find love again, it can be really helpful to put yourself out there and to see that there are people who are interested in being with you. There are people who will be attracted to you. You have actually probably a lot of options. So again, this doesn't mean that you have to be ready for a relationship right now, but you can put yourself out there in a casual way. There are tons of people out there who are interested in casual dating, just meeting people and going out in one or, one or two dates just to have fun. As long as you are upfront about what you're looking for and you're very clear, like let's say you're gonna go on online dating. If you're clear in your profile that you're looking for something casual, you're, you're, you want to meet new people and make new connections, you will find other people who are looking for that too. And it can be a tremendous boost in your confidence to see that yes, other people will be interested in talking to you. Other people will be interested in meeting you and they will be attracted to you. Because I, I do, like I know what it's like to be kind of like in this bubble of pain, of missing your ex, of feeling like this is the only person that you're ever gonna have a connection to. This is the only person that you're ever gonna be attracted to. And so it can help, it can really be a confidence booster to just start talking to people again. Not in a serious way if you're not ready for that, but just to meet people, just to see that there is life after a toxic relationship. Like I said, this isn't, it isn't easy to regain your confidence back after a toxic relationship, but when you start to take these little steps each day, it does get easier and easier and it actually gets more fun because you start to see the results. You start to feel better. You start to get your confidence back. And so then it actually becomes fun work. It, it, this is how it was for me. There were times in the very beginning where I, it, it did feel forced, like putting those positive attributes up on, my, up on my mirror or up on my wall. I looked at them some days and I'm like, you know what, yeah, like I, I see that, but that's not what I'm feeling right now. That's not what I'm thinking. I don't believe it. But looking at it every day, it started to get in there that, oh yeah, okay, I do have these positive aspects of myself. There are some good qualities that I have. And then I started to believe it after a while, especially when I did that powerful subconscious healing work. And then especially when I did the things like starting to create my dream life. This business is a product of that place, like that place where I was like, I, I'm just at the bottom here. And what, you guys, when I say I was at the bottom, I was really at the bottom. I don't, I don't often go into how, how bad it got for me, but I, like, I'll just talk about it here quickly. Like, it got so bad for me because of the, the emotional pain that I was going through and some of the physical symptoms that I had accompanied with that, that pain that I actually couldn't even work for a while. Like, I had to have my parents come and help me. Like it was that bad. So, so when I say like I've really come from the bottom here, I, I mean it. 
And these are all the things that help me to, to get back to this place where I can now serve you and, and help other women to recover from toxic relationships. Again, it's not easy, but if you do the work, things will get better, I can promise you. And make sure you get support. It's one of the most important things I always say. Doing this on our own is its pretty much near impossible. We're not supposed to do this on our own. No one's gonna come and save us, I talked about this last week, but we can save ourselves with the help of other people. Okay, so Lisa's saying, I'm trying to heal, but it's pretty hard as I don't have any friends and my family is not supportive. But I feel strong after going no contact with my abusive ex. Yes, yes. I feel like I have survived the worst and now I'm ready for anything. Yeah, Lisa, that's the thing. Like when you go through these relationships and you come out the other side, and not even that you have to thrive in the beginning, but if you just like make it through each day, you feel like, wow, yeah, like I I can take on anything. If I can survive that, I I got this. Like, get ready for me, world. I, I am now this incredibly strong person. So I totally get that. And as far as not having a lot of family and friends, that's why it's so crucial if that's the place where you're at to get that professional support. Even if it's like just going to a local support group, maybe it's not specifically related to toxic relationships. Maybe it's like a grief support group. Um, maybe it's like, like even if, like if, you're, if your ex was an alcoholic, you can go to a 12-step group. Even if you just do those simple things, it can make such a difference to have people that, that understand what you're going through to some degree and who can give you that support so you're not tempted to reach back out to your ex. So yeah, this, this advice is for anyone who is in the place where they feel like they don't have a lot of friends and they don't have a great family support system. Get that support system outside of family and friends. Get into those professional support networks. Um, for, for me, what was helpful for a time was to work with a women's shelter. Like when I first came out of that abusive relationship, I got a lot of support from them and it was actually free. Like at that time, my income was so low, I couldn't afford anything. I couldn't afford any help. So I qualified for free counseling for a while. A lot of places offer this. So again, it's not like you have to have a ton of money to get support. Reach out anywhere that you can find and the more support you can get, the better. That's gonna help you to level up and to improve your confidence. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you're looking for daily support, follow me over at Instagram at livingfreefindinglove. I post daily.